yil sil sel mer arbe kla dal ngar be lau ma ngar kel be lau te a sita enjili show e kmal ngal tanga tem lo sep el a to gubet sel adal nara shabal me inga bro be song ara international relations kyoto sangyo university al takashimita kam kate kat el lo mai sel mer be lau e el al rak em ler be lau ma mo mo ko al el ang ko al rak al al ngaria at milen mer be lau en ka gilier be lau al ke grey man akmo o bai di i e sio ka er ngi mer ko nge em ere in bai o ais research story ngi le segi da ul making at yang mm gilier te al ke grey ngal kam na skura Ah, hari ini sendiri bayi yang kira lo ais story ini, el al rak yang mau mukar rak ra, alo mai sel merbelau mang akmal mearuk introduce ra Amita. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to speak English, right? That's what you need to know. Good morning. This is Sitan Juli show. I'm very happy and. Um, yeah, satisfied that uh, Professor uh, Takashimita from the uh, she's, he's a faculty of uh, international relations Kyoto Sangyo University um, uh, in Japan and uh, he's been coming here he lived in Palawan he was a, a young boy with his family and he's been coming here and this is his 40th uh, visit uh, to Palau makes it four years since his uh, interaction with the Laos. But I let uh, uh, Professor uh, Mita uh, tell his story. So uh, we're very happy that Palau has people like you to give us, uh, uh, he's a professor, he's taught at uh, uh, Palau Community College some years ago, but he's been also giving consultation and uh, it talks to different uh, people and uh, sort of orientation uh, to even to his students from Japan so they get to know about the Palau community and the Republic of Palau. So I let uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Mita tell his story. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much, Julie, for the introduction and uh, thank you so much for having me today with your, at your show. Yeah, I'm very happy uh, to be in Palau right now. And uh, because this is my 40th year uh, since I started to come to Palau. Uh, I first came to Palau in 1982 in the, in the month of August. That was uh, just a short visit, maybe three days or four days visit. Um, but at the time, our family already had an intention to come to Palau and live in Palau. Why that happened is uh, because my father, uh, my father's father, uh, my, that's my grandfather, died in Palau uh, during the World War II. Uh, that was um, two weeks uh, before the end of the World War II in July uh, 1945. So, um, his uh, troop had uh, almost no food, so he was in hunger, and uh, eventually he passed away at the hospital of uh, Yamato village. That was a colonial village uh, mm -hmm. created by uh, Japanese people during the Japanese administration time, uh, which is um, the current uh, part of the Ngarmurungui state. Yeah, so my family story began in that year, and um, yeah, we have we have a long story <laughs> until the year two thousand twenty-two. That's yeah. right, and uh, you uh, your connection uh, is a strong connection because your grandfather is buried in Ramlangui, so it's a natural connection that you keep coming back, but. Uh, I do know that uh, uh, beside the uh, uh, growing up in Palau, 
and uh, eventually fam your family moved to Japan. You became um, uh, you went to college and you started to make connect connections to Palau. Mm -hmm. Even when you went to the University of Hawaii, right? right. And you started coming to Palau. Mm -hmm. So I understand because I think that's when we met you when you were doing your undergrad work. Uh, uh, yeah, master's program. Master's yeah, program at, from the University yeah. of Hawaii. So, <clears throat> so tell us a little bit more about yeah. that. <clears throat> yeah. Julie, probably uh, I should talk more about the time uh, when I was in Palau yes. in the 1980s. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so um, my father uh, decided to quit his job in Japan and our family moved to Palau in 19. Uh, 83 and we lived in Koro for two years then my parents were working for mr. Hitaru Kishigawa the mm -hmm. carp corporation uh, actually um, when Kishigawa family moved from Ikelau to Malakal my parents continued the restaurant as a second branch uh, as a branch restaurant of carp uh, restaurant and uh, I went to school here in Koro. The first school I went is the George B. Harris. And there I was uh, in seventh grade. But uh, since I wasn't able to speak English, of course, I didn't know anything about Palawan language. So it was a very difficult time to me. But uh, at the same time, I have a very uh, clear memory of that time. Yeah, I. Um, yeah, I enjoyed uh, meeting uh, with Palawan uh, children uh, that all of the same age. And also I remember the, uh, actually the school lunch program. Mm. Yes, uh, that was uh, like a, at the time the school lunch was with uh, like a corned beef and uh, onions and the rice. And uh, which was, yeah, a fun memory to me. And also kids were, uh, enjoying uh, not only learning but also uh, playing and uh, with a uh, after school they were eating uh, how do you say that uh, ice uh, kind of ice cake kind of thing yeah yeah mm -hmm. so uh, that was the beginning of my stay in Palau and uh, however it was a little bit difficult to be in the atmosphere of uh, Palawan language so I decided to change my school. Then I went to SDA elementary school. Uh, at the time, uh, the, all the instructional language there was uh, conducted in English. So I was taught uh, mm. yeah, in, in the intensive course. Of, so I learned English and also I attended seventh and uh, then later eighth grade there. Yeah. Yeah. At the Seventh Day Adventist yes, elementary, elementary school. school. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I am lucky that uh, I could uh, experience two different kinds of schools. Yes. In yes. Palau. In Palau. Yeah. And so by that time you finished the eighth grade in mm -hmm. um, STA school. Mm -hmm. Did you stay in Palau or did your family move to mm -hmm. um, Japan? Yeah, we all moved back to Japan okay. together. Okay. Yeah, in nineteen uh, in the end of nineteen eighty four. Okay. And then from there, um, so you continue your schooling, and then mm. when was the next time? time. Ne yes. Next visit mm. to Palau. Yeah. So I went to back to Japan, and I spent a sort of ordinary life as a high school student in Japan, and then I went to college in um, university in Japan then at the time I was so curious to learn about Palau even I was in Japan I was a high school student because that time uh, during 1980s was a, a time that Palau was uh, moving towards the uh, independence, independence yeah. so there were uh, I know that there were many occasions of the voting mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes in Japan I saw a very tiny article about Japan but it was the 
just this size of article. So I really wanted to find out uh, what is going on in Palau. So I tried to uh, find the information through some NGOs. And then, then when I got into uh, the college, uh, I wanted to study more about Palau and the Pacific. However, at the time in my university, there was no faculty member who could teach about the Pacific Islands, including Palau. Oh, wow. So I studied by myself and I also uh, thought that maybe I should go somewhere uh, in the Pacific or somewhere to study more about the Pacific Islands. Mm -hmm. So four years after I graduated from my uh, university, I applied for a um, master's program at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, and I got a scholarship from East West Center. So I was able to uh, go to Hawaii for my graduate school. Then uh, it was during that um, master's research uh, that I visited uh, Palau and I met Julie. And, and actually, uh, I forgot to tell uh, the first visit after we left uh, in 1984. Mm -hmm. Actually, we, I came back to Palau in 1992 or so for the first time after eight years since our family left Palau. And at the time, um, main purpose was to, uh, to get the uh, certificate of diver. To, to get a diver's license here. And uh, also, uh, not only that, but I wanted to meet uh, the people who I knew. And then I revisited uh, my school, uh, one of my schools, uh, which is was SDA Elementary School. And I was so lucky that the uh, teacher, one of the teachers, Ms. Ikelao, uh, was there and she welcomed me and she even invited me to her class and uh, I had was a I had an opportunity to teach a, cl a class a class session and I talked about Japan mm -hmm. yeah I believe that was uh, fifth grade students uh, probably yeah and that was my first very first experience of teaching yeah, in the class session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. so that was actually so was... beginning of the. And you my... did it in Palau. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm curious. Uh, so since you've been coming, have you met uh, your old teacher Igalau now mm -hmm. and then? Mm -hmm. yes, 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 yes. I yeah. met her uh, several times, and I heard she's already retired. Mm, she's yeah. retired. Yeah. 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 So um, you. So you went to the University of mm -hmm. Hawaii, mm -hmm. and then uh, from there, uh, it appears that maybe your interest in Palau continue. Yes. Because after your exposure to the university, mm -hmm. you ended up coming to Palau. So tell us about your story after you went to the um, U.S. Yeah. Manoa. Right. Yeah. yeah, first I began my master's uh, program. Um, that was about two years. And during that two years, um, I came to Palau for research. And uh, at the time, I met Julie mm -hmm. and, and Tina. Mm -hmm. Tina Palau Resource, from, yeah, Palau Resource. from Palau Resource Institute. Yeah. So uh, Julie uh, kindly facilitated, uh, assisted my research. And my research topic, my first research topic in Palau was about the uh, um, the effect and the impact of the Japanese uh, aid, Japanese grant aid to Palau. So I went to the island of Peleliu and also went to uh, the state of uh, Ngarmurungui and conducted uh, interviews and uh, observations and such things. And then uh, there was, I had uh, another uh, interest, I had another project that um, 
my research topic was to learn about Palawan people's experience during the Japanese uh, administration time. So I had the opportunity to interview some of the elderly peoples uh, who experienced the, the Japanese time. Yeah, then um, I continued uh, my education and I entered uh, the Department of Political Science at UH Manoa and I began my uh, PhD program in political science. So at the time, um, I came back to Palau for a longer period for uh, more than six months. And then I, I also uh, conducted research and learned about Palau more uh, in deeper sense. And uh, my dissertation's topic was about Palau's uh, like uh, alternative futures uh, of state making uh, of the the island nation. Yeah, so I did that for my uh, dissertation. And while I was doing my dissertation, uh, after I completed my coursework in Hawaii, I, after doing some research, I came back to Palau to uh, work and serve for the Embassy of Japan in Palau for three years as a researcher and advisor to the charged affairs of the Embassy of Japan. So I spent three years at the Embassy of Japan here in Koro. And uh, at the time, uh, the embassy was uh, quite small in terms of the number of the staffs. Uh, now the embassy here is uh, much bigger. So the charge and I, uh, myself, and there was another uh, secretary uh, who came from Japan. So only three of us were from Japan and also there are local staffs. So I was, I did almost every sort of things that embassy does uh, from the uh, diplomacy to the uh, economic development and also uh, the, how do you say, the culture exchange, mm, cultural exchange. activities, yes. And also um, the education, uh, including <clears throat> sending uh, Palawan, uh, Palawan youngsters to uh, Japan uh, getting scholarship. So I went to uh, many of the high school, most of the high schools in Palau. So I met uh, many grassroots people to the national leader. So that was a really uh, great opportunity uh, for me. Yes, at the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then <clears throat> After completion of three years service at the embassy, I started to teach at uh, PCC, Palau Community College. I taught some um, social sciences courses, uh, something like a political introduction to political science or uh, micronation social change or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I enjoyed teaching, like a full-fledged uh, mm -hmm. teaching experience yes, yes, started yes. Uh, from Palau. Also yeah. started in yes. Palau. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that was a really uh, significant moment mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. me. And uh, I had a deeper connection to the people and this place. Yes. Um, uh, we were very happy to uh, um, to connect with you because uh, one of the main reason Palau Institute, uh, Palau Resource Institute were, was uh, founded was the, that we needed to work with the researchers or students who are coming to Palau and help them be introduced uh, to the society so that uh, they have some local connections that they can ask questions with because we had experienced uh, different levels of uh, researchers who are uh, a PhD candidate or even just people doing research and they just uh, I, we were not sure they had a like a base or people to ask questions and so that uh, 
sort of uh, with our idealistic minds because we were young when we founded Palau Resource Institute mm -hmm. in 1990. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was uh, uh, Maura Gordon, uh, yes. Faustina Ru, and myself. Uh, yeah, we found the uh, Palau Resource Institute uh, as an NGO. Mm -hmm. So um, we were happy that uh, in a way you were one of the the few, uh, one of the first uh, uh, person that we consciously work with uh, to help uh, to help out in our idea of helping people, and of course the rest of our relationship is uh, is history because we had this mutual uh, uh, working relationship that was built uh, uh, up then. So yeah, it was very. Um, we were uh, satisfied doing that and even until now. <laughs> yes, yeah. Thank you very much, Julie. Yes. <laughs> and then maybe I should uh, talk more about the, uh, the pro project we did uh, after yes. I returned yes. to Japan. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, so I went back to Japan in the year of 2007 and I started to uh, work for a university. Uh, first as a researcher and then as a faculty member. So um, when I was at Osaka University, um, I thought this is a good timing that um, maybe the good timing for me to uh, tell more about Palau to the next generation in Japan. Uh, because up until the time of my uh, the timing of getting degree mm -hmm. that was uh, more mostly I was the one who gained the mm -hmm. information or the connections mm -hmm. but then I thought it's my turn to tell that to the uh, rest of the society especially the uh, young people in Japan mm -hmm. so I planned and conducted uh, like a field study program so that the students can come to uh, visit Palau and learn about Palau. So I conducted six or seven of such programs and uh, always uh, Julie and the PRI uh, accommodated us mm -hmm. and facilitated our program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was a yeah. good, um, uh, it's a positive um, uh, outcome of um, what Palau Resource Institute mm -hmm. had uh, tried to do and have continued to to do with the different levels. We've, we've worked with the mm -hmm. uh, people from uh, German University mm -hmm. besides mm -hmm. yourself and, and other people who just uh, choose to come and then mm -hmm. people uh, give them our name so we will facilitate mm -hmm. uh, in there. And uh, it, it's been a good uh, positive uh, impact that we feel that we can give to our society to share with people who uh, to help people facilitate uh, uh, their research when they come to Palau and we always felt uh, very uh, uh, fortunate that uh, when we went to universities we had people mm -hmm. in the universities who helped us in Guam and mm -hmm. University of Hawaii and uh, that was pretty very yeah. positive yeah yeah, so um, now I'm teaching at Kyoto Sangyo University mm -hmm. since uh, the year 2019. Mm -hmm. And um, I teach various, various courses and mm -hmm. I always uh, talk about Palau. I introduce about Palau and even the students uh, do workshop on the topic of Palau. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, what I think uh, important is that uh, if they learn about Palau uh, deeply, uh, even through the course courses, they understand uh, about Palau mm -hmm. in deeper sense. Mm -hmm. So when they became, when, when they are um, grown enough, or when they are when they develop the careers. I believe those university students the, who graduated from university uh, will be able to make some sort of uh, important decisions in their own capacity in the workplace or in the community. And when they do that, I want them to think about the other part of the world, then uh, to 
in my student's case, that can be Palau. Mm. There's a place called Palau, and there are people、uh, living there in this age of globalization. So, if my students,、uh, the, the, those, will make some sort of decision in, in the later stage, they can think about the environment of, or ecosystem of Palau,、mm -hmm. or the, how people are living. And how e c o n o m y is、uh, interdependent、uh, each other to Japan or other parts of the world. So they don't、uh, make bad decisions.、Mm -hmm. So I believe that is one way、uh, that this world can <clears throat> grow further in good direction. Yeah, yeah. That, that's very positive. Um, uh, it's, um... It's, it's so important for us to continue to work with the、uh, researchers or students who are interested in our country. Because when you go to the map、uh, and you look in Palau, it's just a dot.、Mm. you know, And、uh, it's hard to imagine there are people who live there. But of course, in this、uh, year of、uh, age of technology, you can access many things. But、uh, it, will, uh, <clears throat> it gives a lot of.、Uh, Uh, exposure for、mm -hmm. people and especially for the、uh, people in Palau, we're very、uh, consciously,、mm -hmm. for our Palau Research Institute, we consciously try, try to help people understand about cultural change and uh, impact uh, cult uh, our efforts for cultural preservation and env environmental protection and、mm -hmm. preservation. And that sort of uh, that is the, those are the things that we're interested to. Uh, convey to other people to、mm. understand. So we're, we're very happy that we were able to connect with,、mm. uh, with uh, Dr. Mita. Yeah, yeah actually,、um, unfortunately,、uh, many people think there's a, like a division within the earth, like、mm. uh, <laughs> those places, so called developed countries and the developing countries.、Mm -hmm. And people tend to see Palau as developing countries. but Knowing about Palau, Palau is a really highly sophisticated place. And uh, uh, those uh, people in Japan or the rest of the world,、uh, it would be nice if they look at、uh, the strength of Palauan society.、Uh, such as、uh, when you think about Palau economy, yes, it is a, a dot in,、yes. on the map,、yes. it's a small size. However, <coughs>、uh, Palau has、uh, people h a s a mind of sharing and、mm -hmm. care、mm -hmm. and also empowering.、Mm -hmm. And especially the women, women、mm -hmm. are so much empowered、mm -hmm. and h a s a、mm -hmm. uh, uh, presence in、mm -hmm. this uh, society,、mm -hmm. and, which is really、uh, important. And also,、uh, Palauan people、uh, h a s the high. Uh, capacity of survivability、mm -hmm. or the resilience, even、mm -hmm. though this、uh, COVID era,、mm -hmm. uh, people are, yeah, I see、uh, many people、uh, look so happy in、mm -hmm. Palau, and I'm so glad to see that this time. So,、um, yes, there are、uh, many, many、yeah. positive things that we, Jap、mm -hmm. Japanese、uh, society,、mm -hmm. should learn、yeah. from Palau. So,、yeah. I want to introduce that to.、Uh, Japanese students as well.、Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much,、uh, <clears throat> Mita san, because、uh, for you, for us to hear you say that is、uh, empowering for, for,、uh, for us in Palau, Espe especially for me. I went, spent my last year in the United States、uh, as a foreign student, a senior, and then, of course, at that time there was no college in Palau, so I went to the University of Hawaii.、Uh, of, uh, Guam later in Hawaii. But、uh, what I didn't understand in the beginning was this whole big thing about the, the women's movement、uh, mm -hmm. you know, in the world and in the US.、Mm -hmm. and, and for me, I, I was not understanding what was the big deal because we also w a s part of、uh, our society. is There's a place for women and a place for men. And so for you, as a professor from outside, to absorb that and to say that. Is empowering for us 
because sometimes we're very hard on ourselves. The women of Palau, we're very hard on ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're always yes. telling ourselves we're not doing enough. <laughs> we blame ourselves for, you know, our children when there's a, there's issues with um, with the children. What's what you call that? Uh, uh, issues with children not listening. We blame the woman. It's our fault. We're the one who bring them up. Uh, uh, so it, it's good to hear what you say that it helps us to recognize that it's okay for us to be hard on our children because yeah. women in Pala are very uh, direct with their children. Right. So uh, it, it is important for us uh, yeah. to help our families and to help our young our, uh, male and female children take responsibility for their lives. So this is really very positive to hear you your observation mm. yeah <laughs> yeah and on the other side uh japan uh you might think it's uh economically advanced but the the reality is uh not really so uh nowadays because uh we have many social problems uh one uh, phenomenal uh, thing is that uh now our population is really Declining, declining. Oh wow! Yeah, so um, we have less kids, uh, less people yes. get married. Mm. Mm. So and therefore the economy is also um, well. It's uh, not growing uh, like other countries such mm. as U.S. Mm. or Europe mm -hmm. or other places. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's more like a stable yeah. or the, yeah, declining decline a little on, bit. Yeah, yeah. so the population is declining. Yeah. so we have uh, a lot of problems mm -hmm. uh, in the social society. So we can learn a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from uh, Palau and yeah. the Pacific Islands. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, a yeah. it, uh, even the envir yeah. environment. In the environment, how people. Yeah see the environment oh, yeah. and how people lived uh, within right. the environment yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah there was a time in palau that uh, um i think when people like my age were growing up that we were thinking that we're we're going out there to find knowledge to get to improve our lives then i i go out and then some of the basic things that people are learning i already know i know how to who take care of myself, you know, when mm -hmm. I went to the States, you know, caring for myself was not in, in you know, washing dishes and ironing and all of, all of those things that people had to, I already know, because I had to live like that. Yeah, so uh, for the Palan people, we, after a while, we recognized that we can survive as we are. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very happy that our leaders in the Congress of Micronesia mm -hmm. Uh, declare that they want to uh, separate from the Congress of Micronesia and to work toward the independent uh, Republic of Palau. And we are very happy for our leaders uh, for doing that and, and for taking the initiative to to help us help ourselves. Yeah. yeah. So it's good to hear uh, those uh, views from somebody mm -hmm. looking in. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um... This is my 40th year, and then uh, because of the COVID, I wasn't able to come back to Palau uh, in, in the past three years. My last visit to Palau was the 25th Independence Day mm. in 2019. So I, this time I really wanted to come to Palau to celebrate uh, myself for mm -hmm. my 40th year. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, I want to uh began begin uh the next step uh so what i'm thinking uh in near future is that um at the kyoto sangyo university of course i continue to teach uh, about palau in kyoto sangyo university mm -hmm. but i think those students who learned about palau wants to come to palau so i want to create uh, another uh, educational program for my students mm -hmm. to visit to Palau. Um, now I'm thinking that um, student, several students, I will dispatch st several students to Palau and stay for three week, three weeks and do some sort of internship 
and probably that would uh, be my next project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I started to um, think about that. Mm -hmm. And so this during this trip, mm -hmm. I talked to several uh, yes. places, uh, yeah, including PRI yeah, yeah. and uh, Palau Community College and other institutes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I would be, uh, as I mentioned to you earlier, that uh, it might be um, uh, also eye-opening for your students to spend uh, like a weekend with a family, right. mm -hmm. yeah, family setting, mm -hmm. yeah, and that will be interesting, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so mm -hmm. within that three weeks, probably during the weekdays, uh, he or she can stay in Koro and then mm -hmm. from Friday to Monday morning, mm -hmm. probably uh, Somewhere visit in the uh, yeah. like a bubble bow, yeah. stay with the family, and that would be an ideal yeah. uh, type of yeah. yes program. That sounds really good. Yeah. yeah, yes, it's it's good to have those uh, um, exchange. Mm. I feel that uh, I was uh, helped when I was an mm. exchange student, mm. uh, and that uh, opened mm. my mind. Uh, very excited to go in the U.S., but then from there I learned, mm. once I was outside of Palau, I began to appreciate mm. Palau. Yeah. yeah, I didn't appreciate when I was here, but when I went outside, I appreciate what I mm. had. And uh, that, that's actually important. Mm. Uh, hopefully your students will mm. also uh, yes. experience that yeah. same thing. We can to experience uh, uh, appreciation mm. of their own culture once they're outside of mm. the culture. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I really thank uh, people in Palau. Uh, in yeah, I cannot uh, name uh, each of the <laughs> person's name, but the, maybe I should uh, tell uh, one episode uh, when I was uh, in Palau during nineteen eighties. Yes. Yeah, I was in a car accident. Uh, I was on a pickup truck, and uh, we were. Uh, heading uh, to Oiska uh, from Koro. Mm -hmm. That was uh, uh, December 24th. Uh, that's a Christmas Eve day uh, in the year of 1983. So um, we were on the, on the track and I was on top of the, on the deck of a pickup truck. And the <laughs> pick, pickup truck actually went to the, uh, probably close to Aimelik, and at the time the road was muddy, steep, very uh, not Slippery, safe, yes, yeah. of course unpaved. So the truck, pickup truck, fell off from the road. So I, I also fell from the, the truck, the pickup truck, and the body of the car hit my belly part, and the car went further down. Uh, lucky, uh, luckily, I was uh, uh, alive uh, in that accident, uh, but uh, I heard that my stomach area was so hurt, or I even couldn't uh, breathe at the time. But uh, it was so lucky that uh, somebody, uh, I don't know the names, that came from uh, Koro to uh, northbound, uh, there was a car. There was a pickup truck uh, came and they rescued us. They rescued us all and t took us back to Coral. So therefore, we were able to survive. And uh, then I got an operation uh, by uh, Dr. Masao Kumangai, and uh, my life was saved uh, because uh, there was a uh, damage inside my. Uh, stomach area so and that time um, many pe I heard that many people came to the hospital to uh, cheer me up and also to donate the blood that, yeah. yeah so I really uh, I cannot you know <laughs> say uh, yeah it's it was really uh, because of Palawan people uh, my life is uh, now, so therefore, yeah, I want to continue to come to Palau and continue to um, learn more about Palau. 
and uh, with the younger generation. Yeah. yeah. That, that is so valuable and we we're also interested for our students to mm. to interact with your students uh, especially through the college mm. and other exposures maybe yeah. family so there's a building understanding mm. further is is a very positive mm. thing yeah, for, yeah we always think about the peace for community and mm. and peace for the world you know if you do our part mm. thank you so much uh, Mita -san. Oh, thank you <laughs> Yeah, we appreciate it. Uh, we continue to uh, work with you as long as we can uh, yeah. with your students and uh, yeah, maybe locating families mm -hmm. for them if mm -hmm. you continue yeah. the, your plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very positive. And we, we thank the studio. Is there anything you want to say? I think. Uh, we... um, well, um, this must be uh, still a hard time for Palau. Mm -hmm. uh, however, uh, I saw the healthy environment. I went to the Rock Island and jellyfish, <laughs> and they were so beautiful. And this is an asset of the world, not only for Palauan people. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that uh, time will come when the uh, people want to come to see and experience and meet uh, people of Palau. So, yeah, I'd like to introduce uh, yeah. more about Palau and yes. I'd like to show the beautiful pictures and yeah. videos uh, that I uh, captured during this trip. Mm -hmm. uh, especially, there are not so many people in Rock Island. So, um, yeah, that reminded me of the uh, Rock Island of during the 1980s. Days. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, uh, I can. Um, yeah, I want to do uh, what I can do for Palau and uh, yeah, hope to continue this relation for yeah. forever. Yeah. Yes, yes. Of course, uh, uh, for our part, we'd like to continue to work with you. If you come up with your plan of sending students, we're happy to always work with families to place yeah, them and you. make sure that uh, uh, learning and exchange happen. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for... Uh, Coming to Palau and for all your work that you're doing with us, and uh, we're oh, happy thank you. to yeah. reciprocate. Yeah. Yes. Man masaula TMC kate al na sab amal gukme mga dudu masaya al interview da amita sa. Thank you TMC for having us. Uh, we're always very happy to have. Uh, 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 Dr. Mita here and uh, uh, other people, but especially for him, for his uh, a passionate interest in Palau, uh, which brings us to also help us appreciate what we have. And uh, uh, that is very valuable for us because otherwise sometimes we take uh, our uh, little island for granted and uh, we compare us to other big countries and we complain about what we don't have when we have such a jewel you know, in the world, uh, in, in the Republic of Palau. So we appreciate the MC for having us and we appreciate uh, Mita Sang and we hope the remaining time of your stay uh, will do all the things that you plan to do and we'll wait for the next trip. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, all thank right. you very much for this opportunity. Yeah. Yeah.